Cool Math Games was a website I played a lot as a kid. Flash games were a huge part of my childhood, from the computer lab all the way to the goofy little monkeys throwing goofy little darts at balloons. Look at them go! So today, I decided to dive into the bizarre world of Papa speedrunning. She said it, she said it! Make sure to subscribe if you like challenge and speedrunning videos just like this one, and away we go! Papa's Freezeria is a game that was released in 2011 and continues to have an active community to this day. So what's the deal? The main objective of the game is to serve customers their perfect milkshake, I think, and participate in capitalism. Seems easy enough, right? Well, you're wrong. Every character has exactly one order they get every time other than Mandy, but we'll get to her when the time comes. For this specific run, we want to get our character to level 5 as fast as possible. This is done by collecting tips from customers. Each order matters and contributes to your final goal of $200. Enough yapping, let's get into our first run of the day. First, we need to complete the tutorial, which takes an absurd amount of time every run. Also, you will see this first day a lot. We need to man the order station, where you take customer requests, the build station, where you have to complete a series of skill checks for your ice cream base, the mixing station, where we throw it back, and finally, the top station, where we, uh... put the toppings on the ice cream. Don't look at me like that. After Mandy's order, we get our other scripted NPC encounter and serve it up Tony's way. Wow, this is a lot of waiting. This is not an ADHD accessible run. Day one ends as anticipated with a time of a little over three minutes. And we Windows Movie Maker transition into day two. Day two starts with Utah. Yes, her name is a state. If they named me after my favorite state, it would probably be the state of depression. Utah's order is always cookie dough and chocolate sauce, which gets straight to the mixer and we stare at it. Was I supposed to be taking an order? Oh my god, I'm so behind! But while we dilly-dally, it seems I forgot to do my job. So we go into overdrive to get these guys out the door. Now, I would like to introduce you to our first closer, Kahuna. The closer is a picky customer who comes at the end of the day every day. Day two is Kahuna, followed by Captain Corny, then Grimace, and finally the Time Wizard. With all the orders finished for the day, we metaphorically pack our bags and head out for the night. Ding dong, day three. We are actually starting to remember orders, which helps with some time saves. I think he likes peanut butter cups and chocolate, doesn't he? Or am I an idiot? Oh, I would have been screwed. I would have been screwed. I would have been screwed. To start working on my speed, I also begin prepping orders ahead of time. I'm even guessing on who I think might show up. I bet that bitch from accounting's coming in. I'm gonna make it. So you could say this is getting pretty easy. No! That's over, Max. I'm shaking it. Am I not shaking it? What was that? What did I do wrong? Oh, that is so overmixed. Oh, she was disappointed. And we finally see the third closer for the day, Captain Corny. So we whip up a strawberry sundae for our dummy mommy and continue to day four. Day four kicks off with me actually writing down orders in real life to memorize them. Okay, this guy, he likes uh, peanut butter cup chocolate, chocolate chips, right? Or no, he likes strawberry. Oh, chocolate. Strawberry with chocolate. This is kind of starting to feel like my real job now. At this point, it hit me. Knowing every customer's order by heart would speed up the process and get me the run. So we go back to school and crank out the rest of the day with a focus on accuracy. From this point forward, no mistakes. Jerry, Jerry. <gasps> I mean, after this one. I grabbed the wrong thing, man. After running down our assembly line of melted ice cream, each one is served to the customer with care. You better like it, Wally! I overmixed it. I overmixed it. I overmixed it. I overmixed it. Dawn of the final day. Day five. I start making ice cream of customers I think could come in in order to cut down on mixing time. So we guess that our best friend Matt may make an appearance. And watch this. I know the next guy coming in wants a peanut butter cup. Don't even try me. That's what I thought! That's what I thought! Wally comes back after his shitty Yelp review, and we serve Quinn up Gary's way. And now we stop our timer, and we're level four. Yeah, you're seeing that right. We actually didn't make it to $200 on our first run. So we do our day six of shame. That 
was a clean run. That was a clean run. That was a clean run. That was clean. And uh, yeah, that took me 30 minutes. <laughs> but we got to rank five. Uh, that's not that bad. That's not that bad. After hours of research, I created a presentation for you, dear viewer. Yes, I brought my blazer so you know it's getting pretty serious. Today, I have prepared a very special slideshow for you. I present to you the official Papa Speedrun PowerPoint. The objective for today is Papa's Freezeria is a game where we're going to be making ice cream for customers, okay? We need to get them their ice cream and we need to get it to them now, okay? I went deep, okay? I found a chart full of every customer's order and every closer with key points laid out by the Rots Fox. I also discovered secret tech. I found out that the three, actually, I didn't find out. Mudkip Yoshi found this out. He said, so for those who don't know, these three boards outside the surf shack show the third customer's order, which was an astounding discovery for a run that is based solely on RNG and guessing, okay? The end. Can I please get a round of applause? Great formatting by me. Um, I'd say great choice of background. Thank you. Thank you. But what if I told you it wasn't the end. What if I told you I went even deeper? The Drew, the guy that we saw is the world record holder. He, I, he replies and says, I think the only way to get to five day run in Freezeria Flash is to get a medal, which involves a tutorial customer showing up five days in a row while earning a customer star each day. If I remember correctly, the odds of that happening in this game are about four out of 49, which is 8%. Now, this is the end I would like to take my applause now. I'm sorry for the bait earlier. Um, or is it? Is it really the end? This is a very in-depth community. Uh, yeah, it's the end. It's not letting me go to another slide. It's over. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> it actually is the end. With our brains throbbing from the overwhelming knowledge we just received, I take off my jacket and return to my e-girl base state. Let's make some spark notes real quick for the important information. Every customer has a unique order. Each character spawns randomly at the beginning of the day, not counting the first tutorial day. The tutorial day will always be Mandy, then Tony. You must get the tutorial character all five days in a row to not have to go all the way to day six. Essentially, Mandy or Tony needs to show up every single day so that they get something called a customer medal. Each star represents one satisfactory order, totaling up to five. This results in a massive tip, which is essential to finishing the run on time. This is an RNG run with a 92% chance of failure. Great. I'm actually so confident I named this The Run in hopes of summoning our waifu and having perfect RNG. For the day one tutorial, we do it up like always by going through every screen as fast as possible, showing the whipped cream a good time, and then serving our goddess Mandy. Next, we prep Tony's order so it mixes while he's talking to us. What an absolute yapper. Then I utilize the new strat, Widouts. Instead of waiting for the tip jar to fill up and move on to the next day, we actually exit and re-enter the game. We need to see a sign of Mandy on the next screen or we have to reset. Wait a minute. Look at those silly little surfboards. Strawberry vanilla. <gasps> She's here. First, we blend Utah, then Alberto. Next, we take Utah's order to cut down on mixing time. Next, we prep Mandy's order since we saw her on the surfboards. Finally, we plop our closer's order down and steer at the funny ice cream go round and round. Whee! Continuing forward, we assess outside. Alberto from the left, peanut butter and vanilla on the surfboards, and finally, Mandy pops her head out of the hut. We then make everyone's order like always and try to get them out the door as fast as possible. After passing out the orders to everyone, we grab our third star on Mandy and finish with a six second gold split. Only two days to go. Looking outside, we don't actually see Mandy. At this point, there's about a 10% chance she'll show up as the random RNG character of the day. First, we get to Washington, uh, I mean Utah, then Matt, shortly followed by Tony. Finally, like a Mandy summoning circle, we make her favorite order and hope she follows the scent like a cartoon character. So she doesn't show up, it's going in the trash, and that means Mandy does not care about food waste. With all of these orders, we check the door and... <gasps> I almost threw up! It's her! Female. 
Wow, certified female alert. She got that star, baby. The final day. Hopefully Mandy isn't watching her figure. She's perfect the way she is. Right out front, we actually don't see her. We follow our usual flow and make the orders we know are coming. Then, finally. <gasps> don't mess up! I love you! I just want to French her so bad. I'm gonna throw up. Now down to our final quit out and... Yes! Yes! Coco! We did it! Case pals rejoice. We meet top 10 with a time of 1734. This is actually 10 minutes faster than our first run thanks to researching quit outs. Honestly, this run was a lot harder than I originally anticipated. I'm actually learning that I really like RNG runs for the rush of getting a good one going. I would like to thank the Discord and the Papa's community for the help. Couldn't have done it without you. You thought this was the end, huh? Well, so did I. Guess what? Hi, Very Crave. Your 1734 run in Papa's Freezeria rank 5 has been rejected. Reason, run was performed on a version without flipline ads between in-game days. Sorry for the inconvenience, sad face. After participating in a children's game about capitalism, we got got by capitalism. 